Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is January favorites. And if you have not seen my best of 2017 series, I'm going to be linking that playlist in the description box. Also, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe and join my YouTube family. I am so lucky to have the subscribers that I do. You guys are just fantastic. You continue to always encourage me and support me. And when I tell you on Snapchat that I've been sick and that's why I haven't been filming, I got so many kind messages asking me to feel better and just that you're thinking of me and that you noticed that I wasn't you know, snapping and, and on social media. So I really, really appreciate every single one of you. I am feeling better. I might sound a little weird because, well, you know, after you've been sick for several days, that's kind of how you sound. So luckily I was able to get out of bed today and just feel really, I feel, I don't feel great, but I feel a lot better. I'm just hoping not to go into one of these like coughing fits um, while trying to film. Uh, and thankfully it wasn't the flu, it was just a common cold. I get sick about twice a year, maybe three times, usually twice. So I was just really hoping that, you know, every day I would get better and then I didn't have the flu because that is really scary. They're really, the media is really putting the, like scaring us uh, this season, am I right? I mean, they're just, yeah, it's pretty frightening. So anyway, thankfully it wasn't the flu, just a cold and I'm back filming. And I thought, what better way to start than with my favorites? So when I did my Best of 2017 series, I really did mean to do one for hair, show you my favorite hair products of 2017. But then when I thought about it, um, I was using Monat for about five months out of last year. And that was all I was using, shampoo, conditioning, styling products. And I felt like, you know, I didn't really try a bunch of different things. I didn't have a whole lot that were favorites to put into an entire video. And if you want to hear about my experience with Monat, I will link that video for you. I just thought, you know what, I'll throw in the products, my, my two favorite favorites that I'm still loving into this January video. So I want to start with those products. So the first product is this R & Co Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. Like a lot of you, I'm sure you follow different hairdressers and makeup artists on Instagram and you like to see the products that they're using. And there is a hair and makeup artist that I follow on Instagram who uses this, and I'll put her name on the screen, but she uses this in a lot of her um, hair kind of videos that she posts. <clears throat> and my salon, the salon I go to sells this. So I thought I, you know, when I went to get my hair done the last time, actually it was back in December, I had the stylist use it on me. I'm like, I wanna see what this is all about. And so she tasseled my hair and she sprayed it and she's like, I've never, I've never really used this either. And I've already used, quite a bit of it this morning, so I don't want to use too much more, but you just kind of lift your hair up and spray, and it gives a little bit of hold, but mostly it gives like volume and texture, and it does give a little shine, it smells really good, and um, I've been looking for a cruelty-free replacement for this Bumble and Bumble texture spray I've been using, and this is definitely it. I really, really love this spray. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my hair in the last couple of months has really grown and the texture has really improved. Now, I wish I could attribute that to Monat, but I actually stopped using Monat after I made that video and I started experimenting more with hair vitamins. Now, I have tried many different kinds of vitamins. People have told me to buy biotin, just straight biotin, and I did that and my face broke out like crazy. I couldn't figure out what was causing the breakouts and it wasn't in my typical area which is um, down along my jawline which is hormonal but I was getting them like in that area and just other places as well. It was bad. It was like I was 16 again and once I stopped using the biotin it cleared up. So then I thought well dang <laughs> if that's what's going to make my hair grow and I can't use it then what else can I do? So I think that's when I originally wanted to try Monat because nothing else was working like biotin just broke me out, so I needed another option. But anyway, then I started trying a couple others. So the first supplement I tried after just using biotin pills was this Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nail Gummies. This is uh, 2,500 micrograms of biotin per serving, and they tasted great, but they also broke me out. Now, the next one I tried it was this Irwin Naturals Nutrient Rich Healthy Skin, Hair, and Nails, and this one has 2,600 micrograms, so a little bit more biotin, this one also broke me out. So I was about to give up on hair vitamins altogether. 
And then I saw on Instagram this post from Lily Galici. She is she's a former like Bravo celebrity and she is a creator of Lily Lashes and I wear a lot of her lashes. So I've been following her for quite a long time. And she made this post, I think it was back in October or November, about her suffering from alopecia. And alopecia, if you're unfamiliar, it's an autoimmune disease and it causes you to lose hair. And you can lose a little bit of hair, you can use a lot of hair. Um, it can be caused by stress, it can be, it's just there's a couple of reasons why someone might get alopecia. But anyway, she she showed before and afters of her hair and where she was losing it and how it was really affecting her self-esteem. And then she was talking about these hair to men vitamins. They're 100% drug free, gluten free capsules. And she said that she um, noticed after about two months, she did show before and afters and her hair looked so much better. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna give it one more try. And I looked in the ingredients and normally, let me just say this, I am the biggest skeptic when it comes to what people are pitching on social media. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. You're so tired of seeing teas and, you know, just different shakes and vitamins and gummy hair vitamins and all that. And you just wonder like, does it really work? So then of course you go and look for reviews and you're seeing 50-50, like a lot of positive and then a lot, a lot of negative. A lot of people saying, oh my God, they work amazingly well. And then other people saying they're garbage. So. I'm gonna tell you that these worked for me, but you might have a different experience, of course. But I can, I'm not affiliated with the company whatsoever. They're not paying me to say this. I just had to share. This hair to men, believe it or not, does contain a lot of biotin, which surprised me because it's actually more. Because this is one caplet a day, those were two. So I was getting about 5,000 or 5,200 micrograms of biotin. This one actually has 6,000 micrograms of biotin. So you're probably wondering, well, why the heck is that not breaking you out terribly? And that's a very good question. What's also in here though is vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12, black pepper seed extract. Listen, I am no scientist at all, but I did ask someone in the medical field why that would be, like why would this product not have the same, if the main ingredient is the same, why would it not have the same effect on me that these others did? And I was told that it could just be the way the product is put together. It's not always the ingredients of the product, but it's the way it's formulated as a whole. And one uh, ingredient might be balancing out the other ingredient as far as just how it's working inside my body. I don't know if that makes this makes sense. Again, I'm the most unscientific person in the world. My brain is totally just of creative mind. But that's the explanation that I was given. And I have to say that in the past two months, I'm just about to open my third bottle. I cannot believe how much my hair has grown. Just how much shinier my hair is, how much thicker my hair is. I'm just so happy with the results I'm getting with this. Of course, I'm gonna follow up with you guys in a few months to let you know if it's still working for me and I gotta tell you if it is still working that well for me I am going to approach the company and be like hey I can promote this for you because I will only promote things if I think that they're amazing you guys know that so I was just really excited to share this with you guys again currently not affiliated whatsoever not gonna make any money if you buy it but um, I'm really really happy with this hair to men vitamin all right let's move on to some makeup so in my palette declutter video, I mentioned that Stila was not cruelty free. And a bunch of you corrected me in the comments and you let me know that in 2017, Stila actually pulled out of China. They're no longer selling in China. So now they can in fact be considered cruelty free. So that excited me to no end because I love Stila. I used to work for Stila and I hated that I really couldn't use them in tutorials and promote them. and. So now I can, and what did I do? As, as soon as I found out that Stila was cruelty free, I made a little Ulta haul. I had my 20% off coupon, and I bought some more of the liquid lipsticks, and I bought more of one of my favorite products, which are the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I don't care if you're over 40 like I am, you can still wear these if you feel comfortable wearing them. I think it's the easiest way to wear glitter. I bought this shade in La Douce, 
and it is so beautiful and I just put it on right with the wand and yes 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 I'm going to be doing a tutorial with these soon so that is La Douce and then the other shade I bought was Sunset Cove and these are from the spring collection I already own several other shades because I purchased them before June when I decided to buy cruelty free only and I have um, rose gold retro something taupe anyway I, I love these so so much and so again this one is Sunset Cove I'm thinking about incorporating the Sunset Cove in a Valentine's look so I absolutely love these and once again if you want to try shimmer but you don't want chunky glitter or you don't want something that's difficult to work with or that's gonna get fallout or maybe get in your lashes or contacts or anything like that this is the way to go you can apply them just with your finger I think I already said this but I just use the applicator to put them on and then sometimes I'll pat it out with my finger. There's different ways to apply this and you just need to find the one that works best for you. January. And then my favorite palette in January had to be this Clover palette from Too Faced. I originally was not into this palette at all. I think it was just the cutesy packaging that kind of turned me off. Then I saw it used in a tutorial and I fell in love with it. And I thought, wow, there's a couple, in these sh couple of shades in this palette that I'll never use. So I'm probably never gonna use that yellow and I'm probably never gonna use that greenish color, but the rest of them are so beautiful, so pigmented. I purchased it on the Too Faced website. I will double check to see if it's still available there. And yes, I did use it today. Also on my face today is my new favorite lip combo. I'm loving this lip. It is the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Lip Pencil in Liar. And then I used Salt Life from Tarte. It's the Rainforest of the Sea Collection. These lipsticks are so good. They're so creamy, they're hydrating. And did I already say this one is called Salt Life? It's like a mauve like a plummy mauve, but it doesn't pull too purple. And then I've been using this Gerard Cosmetics Metal Matte in Dreamweaver in the center. And I've been using this over a lot of different lip colors lately. It just, I'll show it to you on its own. It's kind of like a rose gold metal. But what I'll do is I'll just tap a little to the center of my lip and then blend it out. So it gives, I don't know if you can tell, but it just gives a little bit of iridescence and a little bit more fullness. Now that I don't have that fullness up top anymore, I'm kind of trying to create the illusion of a little bit more by using this in the center of my lips, no matter what lipstick I use. But this trio has been my go-to and I wore it a lot in January. All right, I just have a couple more things to show you. This is the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I don't often review mascaras or talk about mascaras on my channel because I'm addicted to false lashes. I've mentioned that several times. And one of my resolutions for this year was to stop wearing false lashes so much. Maybe only wear them when I'm filming or taking photos for Instagram. So I'm trying to heal my lashes. So I've been pretty good about using my new lash at night for the last couple weeks. But a couple weeks ago, maybe two, two and a half, maybe three weeks ago now, I was in Ulta and I spotted this mascara. I had never heard of it. And I saw like the before and after pictures, like many of you do, I get drawn in by ads and I'm like, oh, that's, that's really good result. So I decided to pick it up because it was $6.99, $7.99 or something. And then I had a coupon. So actually before I got to the register, I looked up on Ulta, I looked at the reviews and most of them weren't, weren't good, to be honest with you. So I almost put it back and I thought, Nah, you know, mascara is one of those things that's just probably the hardest cosmetic product to for people to agree on because everybody's lashes start off so differently. Some people have long, dark, full lashes to start with. Some people are like me that have really fine, sparse, blonde lashes, non-existent lashes, and we like different things than others do. But anyway, I decided to purchase it and I'm really glad I did. I don't like those rubberized, spiky, bristle mascaras like on Benefit They're Real, and I'm trying to think of who else. Um, and then I also don't like those really thick, big um, brushes because I tend to feel like they take the curl out of my lashes and they're just, they're just heavy. They just weigh my lashes down. 
and nine times out of ten I'm like getting them on my lid when I'm applying my mascara. So I like the brush on this a lot. It's just your old school traditional mascara wand, nothing gimmicky about it. And for me, it lengthens, it thickens, and it separates. It makes my lashes look longer, fuller, and prettier. I just have no issues with clumping. I have no issues with smudging. I have worn it, you know, all day long and I didn't have any black marks under my eyes. Of course, just like with any cosmetic product, you might have a different experience with it. But I have been so happy that I did not put it back on the display because it just gives me really pretty lashes and I have no complaints about it, especially not going to complain about the price. It's a great price. Oh, I have one more thing to show you. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I picked this up because I'm planning to do a one brand tutorial and I asked in my community tab what brand you guys would want to see and a lot of people said Physicians Formula. So I went and did like a little Physicians Formula haul including the new foundation, well relatively new foundation. So I'm going to be doing, a, hopefully filming that within the next week or so. But I've been loving, I've been liking a couple of the things that I picked up from that haul, but the butter bronzer especially, this is the light bronzer and it's a Muru Muru butter bronzer. Anyway, it smells really good. It smells like suntan lotion. Now, if you don't like suntan lotion, then of course you're not going to like the smell of this, but it smells like the beach. It smells like suntan lotion. And if you have light or fair skin and you just want a touch of color, this is a great product. It's really smooth. It gives you just the right amount of glow. It doesn't look dirty or muddy. And it's just, it's great. I'm really impressed with some of the, well, with a lot of the Physicians Formula products that I've tried. So be on the lookout. Make sure you're subscribed and that you are clicking for notifications so you'll know when that one brand tutorial goes live. So that is it. Those were my favorites for January 2018. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And once again, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things. Oh, that sounded really weird. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon.